When we call you and say it's important, you can't just text us, Mouse. Her relationship with her two mothers completely defines her life. It really is the through line with her. The trauma that Mouse suffered was her almost being kidnapped and taken from her mother's. Elodie took that and really used it to create almost a bubble or a cage around Mouse. She was so scared of her little girl being taken. Mom, I just want to be a normal 15-year-old. She's definitely become stunted in the way that she wasn't allowed or able to find herself and carve out who Mouse is. I've never been to a dance in real life. Have you ever done anything in real life? So much of Mouse's life has been her being forced into this childlike role. And so I do think she feels a level of protection and safety and being able to play dress up and put on these different masks and feel like a different person for a second. The actual process of filming that scene was just <laughs> hilarious. That was one of the most delicious, fun things I've ever gotten to do as an actor. I remember reading it and being like, what the hell is Mouse doing? It was a lot of me dancing around, waving my arms and trying to make sense of the madness. I think what Mouse is doing, you know, seeking out parents that have lost their children and seeking out missing kids is her trying to reframe her own trauma and take control of her past. And being able to help those parents that have lost someone, she feels like she can be a source of good rather than on the receiving end of bad. I need to talk to you. It's time I told you the truth. A huge turning point for Mouse is a discovery of who was meant to be her father before her mother stole her away from him. So much of Mouse's identity revolves around trying to save those that are less fortunate and to realize that her mother, who she propped up as this almost godlike person, was actually the perpetrator of those exact crimes that she has been fighting her whole life. It was earth shattering and it put so much of what she knew about herself and her family into a tailspin. Do not walk out that door. From that point forward, I think there was nothing else to do but fight. It was so heartbreaking to think about the fact that she felt like she had no one else to turn to. And so when she went to her father's doorstep and he too rejected her, that she went back to putting on the mask and playing pretend and going back to Steve, which made me want to pull her hair out. But it's such a human thing to latch onto these little obsessions because they validate you and they give you exactly what you need in that time and they're easy. What's been really beautiful about this experience is I've certainly come to trust myself a lot more, trust in my instincts, and be independent without fear. It's great to be at episode 10 and to see Mouse find her strength and feel like I found some along with her.